What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back with another video on the channel. And today, you can see, we got the AMC Cup, that means I did just leave the movies. Actually have two movie reviews, because there's one that a lot of people were interested in uh, my take on it, and I did see it over the weekend. So we got a movie I just watched today that is called Fall. I'll tell you about it, but I think you're gonna wanna hear about this. It's, it was a, we'll get to that. We also have the Predator prequel that is exclusive on Hulu right now. It's not in theaters, but if you have Hulu, you can watch it on there which is called Prey. So I wanna talk about both of them and dig into some food. I went to my hood spot that is not in the hood, but I did a video on it a while back and um, it's open until like three o'clock in the morning. So I just stopped in real quick, little hole in the wall. It's called Euro King. It's a halal restaurant that does platters, wings. It's, honestly, it is built just like a hood spot if you didn't see it the first time, but it's really, really tiny and they serve like chicken wings and cheeseburgers, but they also got halal platters. I don't know how it's in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. <laughs> that is not the trenches, but if this place was in the hood, like this is exactly what you would think it is. So let me show you what I got real quick. I got the mixed platter this time. I have to just take these off, though. You know when things come in these styrofoam platters like this, these plates that this about the bank. If you didn't see this the first time, it actually is excellent. But I got every kind of meat in here, so. $10 for this giant platter, no joke, gets you lamb, falafel, and chicken. Got the white sauce, got the red sauce, then you get a salad on the side. Now, I'm not big on the lettuce and stuff, but they do have it. But I usually get, I get chickpeas with corn and tomatoes. So that's the whole platter right there. I already know this is good, so I'm starting to drool already. And then we have the chicken wings. I just want some hot wings. So you got a little hot wing platter, um, run you about five. Uh, you get six wings and fries. I actually didn't eat all the fries. I'm, this, I just saved a little bit from right here. The fries I actually um, gave. But we have the hot wings. So right here, if you don't know about these little hot wings like this, like they're frozen. There's no lie about that. But these things like smack, bro. I have no. They're they're just these little spicy wings. Pizza places serve them too, but they're a staple in my area. And I also got my favorite dessert because they always make this fresh in house. And my ass for one piece, he gave me two. My man. One time he just said, Here, take it. I'm not, he said, You want one piece? I said, Nah, one's cool. So he gave me two. So we got some baklava, one of my favorite uh, desserts in the world. I had this the other time and it is actually very good. And we have our AMC cup and we're ready to go. We just have to do my little intro. So if you are digging the content, you want to see more movie reviews. Movie reviews are highly requested on the channel now, um, a lot on Instagram too. But I love my movies. I go uh, once a week, usually, sometimes twice. So I'll try to get more of those in there. But like, subscribe, thumbs up, uh, all of that crazy YouTube stuff. Um, it wasn't that long ago we had 50,000 subscribers, and I don't know how long it's been, maybe a week or two, but I think it's like, someone was just, it's something like 55 or, or 50, thank you, like, I, I don't know what I've done, but I really appreciate the love, man, your support, it, it means so much to me that I'm getting to do this, and use it as a job getting to that point and also I'm, I'm having a I love doing this so it doesn't feel like work at all so I will continue to put out content every single day um, we've done that again it's, it's over three months at this point and, and I'm not gonna stop anytime soon but anyway let me get into this platter and let's talk about these movies bro I gotta talk about this also Philippines I know there's a lot of people from the Philippines watching I love you you gave me crap because I didn't use a fork uh, I used a fork instead of a spoon when I was eating uh, the sisig and I understand that and you might be new to the channel but I always used to yell because I hate forks but I was lazy that day and didn't have a fork and didn't want to get up we don't use forks on this channel I never do like I don't know a lot of people said it was a Filipino thing it's a me thing too I'm with y'all I just want y'all to know that but I was lazy I don't want to get up once I sit down in this chair I'm not trying to move I'm sorry I get sidetracked you know how I get down Gotta talk about this movie, bro. I swear, I did not see this coming. The plot, let me show you this real quick, though. Look at this platter, bro. Look at this chicken. The white sauce, the hot sauce is on there. And the rice. Mmm. Little of this lamb, too, real quick. And of course, I didn't have their falafel last time. Oh, the inside's green. That's good. It's always a good sign. I've seen falafel where the inside is not that color. It's gotta be that color. This is good, man. You know, hood spot prices, too. I got the deluxe platter that cost $10. The other ones are like $7. You get a lot of food. But anyway, the movie I saw today, it's called Fall. And I'm not going to give away any spoilers. But I'm just going to talk about this because it's in the previews. Okay? Any plot points that I'm giving away, you know what you're seeing before you get into it as long as you see the previews. So, basically, these two girls... Climb this giant tower, like a TV tower, 
It's like 3,000 feet high. No, I'm not exaggerating. I think it's 2,000, but still high, super high. One of the tallest buildings in the United States. And they get stuck. That's the plot. If you like movies like Open Water, um, 40, was it 47 meters down below or something like that? Um, you know, movies where people are like in these ridiculous situations, you will love this movie. I had an absolute blast watching this movie. I was legitimately sweating the whole time. If you are afraid of heights, it's hard. It, I can watch horror movies all day where people are getting all kinds of stuff done to them. And this movie had me anxious the whole time. Like, had me edge of my seat wondering what was going to happen. It is, was such a fun watch. When I went, I was in the AMC Thrills and Chills Theater, which is much smaller. There's about 20 seats in there. There was probably about 10 people in there. Maybe. And you can hear everyone's reaction the whole time. When I tell you that I said multiple times watching this movie, oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah, man. Over and over again. I mean, that is to me like a movie experience that you need to have. When I think about going to the movies, there's obviously good movies no matter where you watch them. But this one specifically, like, if you are a person who likes to go to movies, I highly recommend this. It was such a fun watch. And sometimes you forget that movies to me, like, it's, it's, it's more of an experience than just being at a good movie. These days with HD, uh, IMAX, um, 4K, the home movie experience might not be the same, but it's a lot closer than it used to be when movies were more popular. But there are certain movies that are built for the movie theater, and this was one of them. I saw this, I always just check my AMC app, and... I just looked at the coming soon and whatever. And I saw this plot and I'm like, yo, this I have to watch this movie. So I just booked it, no questions asked. And I went to, man, I am not joking with you when I say this. And again, I have to preface this, but I love movies like this. I really do enjoy open water and, and things like that. You know, uh, there was one with like Robert Redford where he's like stuck on a boat. Like, and he didn't even talk the whole movie. And I thought it was excellent. But there's minimal sets there's minimal cast. It's usually just good acting and tension. And that is what this is. I just thought it was brilliant in that sense. It didn't try to do too much. It just gave you vertigo. <laughs> I'm not joking. And believe it or not, I will do a complete movie ranking of all the movies I've watched in theaters or new movies at the end of the year when I do a wrap up. But right now, I'm not joking with you when I say this. Movie experience, movie in general, I'm, I'm having a hard time placing it anywhere below three of movies I've watched this year. I liked it more than Thor. I would watch this again. Just awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. Again, not giving away plot points. But I will only tell you that there's not a lot of different scenes. In. You're at this tower for the majority of the movie. I don't have to tell you anything else. And there's only a few actors. That's it. And go. They do have some plot points. They do have some things that build tension. They do have some twists. It was it was very good. I enjoyed it a lot. And everybody that I was listening to in theater enjoyed it as well. So, with that being said, I would honestly, believe it or not, give that movie four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I rank it higher than Thor. I rank it higher than, than Doctor Strings. I rank... This is a movie to watch in the movies. 100%. Tension, whole time, edge of your seat. Movie's about an hour and 45 minutes long, so it's not a crazy long movie, but it didn't feel that long. The runtime did not feel long at all. And I highly recommend if you go and watch it. I had to bring this one up. It wasn't one that I was doing for like content. It was just one that I was going to watch because I'm a fan of movies. But I had to get this review in there. If you watch this far, go watch the movie. Excellent. Now we're going to talk about Prey, the Predator prequel. I also want to eat this chicken wing before I get into this. If y'all don't know about these wings right here, you go to your little hood spot, they're going to fry this up nice and perfect for you. It's frozen, but there's something about these 
that when they put it in a fryer, they hit Diffy. Let's listen. They're spicy. They're hot wings. Kind of reminds me of McDonald's Mighty Wings. I think that's why I like them so much. A little bit like a salty seasoned taste to them. And a little bit of spice to them. And just crispy skin. And just, just juicy chicken. Ain't nothing crazy about them. You can probably buy these in the store. You can, but no matter. They make it, when it's in their fryer, it's better. They also give you these fries that are always fried perfect, but they're never seasoned. You get a ketchup packet or a hot sauce packet. I left them in the kitchen. I don't care. We just want to eat them. So, anyway. Let's talk about Prey. I've talked about my horror movie franchises. Predator is more of a sci-fi slash horror. But it's more in sci-fi genre. But I have been a fan of Predator movies since I was a kid. Growing up in the 90s, my mom watched the first Predator, which came out in 87, I believe. In the 90s, my mom watched it all the time. So I would sit there and watch them. By the time I was old enough, Danny Glover was in Predator. Two, in 1997, I was already hooked. I'm a huge fan of Predator. I just enjoy that film. I love the Predator. I love the Yacht Jaw, which is the name of his species. You name it. So I have to say that. There is a sense of fanboy when I'm watching this. If you're not familiar with the Predator, you might say this movie sucked. It didn't. As far as the Predator franchise goes, the only Predator movie that is better than this one is the original one, which is extremely hard to top because it's a classic. But this one might have a better story. It might have better acting. I will be open and say that. There's just something very iconic about get through the chop. Don't start with the Arnold. I'm sorry. It comes out. But listen to me. I'm sorry. But it actually has a little bit better of a story. I have to be honest about that fact. It's just you can't beat on the Terminator 2 in the movie. I'm sorry. But with that being said, without giving plots away, I'll say this about the movie. Story is a prequel. It's set in the 1700s, so it's bef it's hundreds of years, literally about 250 years before this, the events of the 1987 version of Predator. There's a noticeable difference between this Predator. He seems a lot less advanced. He seems a lot more vulnerable, but it makes for better pacing in the movie. I will also say that the young lady who is the lead actress in this was excellent. She was very, very good. I thought that she handled the action scenes well, but also the acting aspect of it. She was very believable in what she did. Awesome heroine. Nothing but props to her. The actor who played the Predator also did a good job doing, making the Predator look less physically imposing. You'll notice that when you watch the movie right away. Um, just by his weaponry and things like that, that it's a little bit prequel feeling but the pacing of it I don't think it ever had any slow runtime aspects where you're like okay this is taking too long it kind of got to the point which I enjoyed it didn't try to take this long pacing stuff which made it a lot more enjoyable in my opinion I thought the scenery the cinematography the actual background the lighting, everything about that part of the movie was excellent. You really felt like you were in the Great Northern Plains. You felt like you were in that type of life, in that area. And I thought that the actors, kudos to them for not using, they were part of the Comanche tribe. They didn't use not Comanche people, not native people to make the movie. And it made it a lot more believable with how they were acting. And the portrayal of that was also very believable. And it made for a good, entertaining movie. That left you wanting more. Other than the first one, man. My hand to the man. This one, I've watched twice. And I found it even more entertaining the second time around. Coming from someone who's a huge fan of Predator, that is giving it a lot of praise. And it's definitely worth it. Don't listen to people that are like, oh, it's, it's you know, they're trying to be woke and things like that. It doesn't feel that way when you watch the movie. And you'll understand why when you actually view it and see how it transpires. Another cool thing, and I think I'm going to try to watch it. They have a um, Comanche dub where you can watch it in that language. 
which is awesome. They tied in some parts of the newer movies, which I won't get into. Uh, if you're familiar with the Predator sequel, uh, I, I noticed some things right away where I was like, oh, you know, stuff like that. They will definitely make more. And overall, the first Predator for me was like a 4.7, 4.7 stars out of 5. This Predator is probably about a 4.4. Um, if I had anything negative to say about it, the only thing I could possibly say is because the plot was so streamlined and linear, it almost felt like I knew what was going to happen to a T the entire time. There was nothing crazy about the plot, which that's becoming not necessarily a bad thing, but when you're dealing with a perfect movie, you've either got to have some sort of iconic thing to it, which I think the first Predator had, or you've got to have some like crazy plot. This had neither, but with that being said, there's really no other complaints about the movie. It's that good. So if you're a fan of the Predator universe, I highly suggest that you watch that. I also highly suggest that you take a bite of this ridiculous baklava. So we're gonna get in here real quick. Look at this. Look at this uh, uh, sugary, syrupy, delicious booty on this. I love me some baklava. This hit last time and it was fresh when I looked at it. It's all about this right here. See that? I'm not supposed to eat with your hands, but I do every time. I can't help it. Snacks of all time baklava is in my top three. I just love it. There's something very delicious about the crispy phyllo dough, that honey, the nuts. Stop it, bro. I the freaking there's actual like usually pistachios. And it's so sweet. Can't eat a lot of it, but man, is it hit. But we got two movie reviews in today. Some good food. I still have a lot of stuff to do. I'm actually going to the movies again in two days. So, in the next two weeks, we will have three more movie reviews of movies that I'm going to see. Um, I also want to give a little quick shout out to all of you guys for your dialogue when I'm doing these ranking videos because it forces me to reconsider my own thoughts. I am not the type of person who is stuck in their ways enough that I'm stubborn that I'm not going to hear anybody out. Now, if you can articulate to me why something is good or bad and why you like it or dislike it, I'm always going to at least respect that. So I want to talk about this real quick before I dip. I ranked horror movie franchises where I started doing my rankings. It was that video. Okay. And in that, I prefaced it in the very beginning by saying that I don't like supernatural movies. I don't watch them, therefore you won't see certain franchises like this particular one I'm talking about, where I have to say I was dead wrong. So, I'm a man up, I'm gonna hop on the screen, and man up and tell you that I was dead wrong about this, and you guys convinced me to go back and watch these movies, and I love them. So, if you told me I had to go back and watch any of the things from the Conjuring universe, I am going to sit here and stand on my own ten because I'm a valid dude. I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, ooh, nah, it was y'all. That is a W-ass movie franchise. I'm not going to lie about that. I don't really like supernatural stuff, but I went back and watched this kind of stuff because I wanted to talk about it. So, I only have two movies left in the entire Conjuring universe. I sat, I've watched every Annabelle, I've watched The Curse of La Llorona, and I've watched two Conjuring. So I have The Nun, and I have the third Conjuring left to watch. With that being said, those movies don't miss. They don't miss. I've watched seven so far. Six were excellent and one is okay, which is The Curse of La Llorona. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. That's the only one that I watched while I was like, oh, I don't know. They relied too much on jump scares in that movie and not the plot. But I'll get into that later. I might do a Conjuring ranking film, but I'm definitely, if I'm saying my movie franchises, I have to put my horror movie franchise and revise it and say that The Conjuring is probably in my top three. Definitely top five, possibly top three. It's that good. So that's on you guys. I appreciate it. I'm a man up and say that stuff. I go back, I always take everything into consideration. As long as you are two things, when I take into consideration. One, you articulate, meaning you tell me why, with words, with reason, why you think something is good or bad. If you just say, oh, this is good or this sucks, I can't really say anything to that because it's nothing convincing. But if you can articulate it, 
then you can have a dialogue and I have no problem with that. And number two, as long as you keep things like, don't try to low bro me, you know what I mean? I don't talk to nobody like y'all kids, don't talk to me like a kid, so don't be like, yo, you're an idiot, I'm not gonna let, like, let's keep it respectful. When people are that, I'll talk about anything, you feel me? So keep doing that when I do the rankings, all the other stuff, just don't sit here and tell me like, cause I'm not gonna talk to you like that. So don't be sitting here like, oh, you stupid and like blah, 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 you know, I don't respect you, like, don't little bro me, bro. We, we family. Y'all ain't got to talk to me like that because I'm going to come with you with respect. You respect me too. But either way, I'm going to give y'all that one. Y'all can hold that W. Anybody who said go back and watch The Conjuring, it is definitely there. But I'm going to go take more bite of this before I dip. I got a, a clogged kitchen sink, bro. I had a plumber here earlier. So I have to prep some stuff because I come in in the morning before I go to work. I'll keep it a full stack. <laughs> I think it's a clog. Something, I don't know what's in that drain, but. I don't have no damn hair. Maybe it's a mustache. I don't know what it is. But we're going to find out. But we'll be back, though, tomorrow. More content. Man, I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.